is a wonderful young man. You are misjudging him, Sam. Look, I know he's your son, but he has all the characteristics of a crane. Genes don't lie. It's all right out there in front of him. It's going to be a lifetime of shady business deals and destroying innocent people's lives. Don't say that. No, Ethan is just under the influence of Alistair and Julian right now. No, no, not right now. Forever. You are wrong. Ethan is a You're wonderful... trying to sell him to me, Ivy, and it won't work, so quit trying. He's a crane, which means he thinks he can intimidate me, that I'll cut and run. Well, I got a news flash for that fine young man. If he wants to go to war, then bring it on, because I'm not going to pull my punches. We'll see who'll be the last man standing. <sighs> Sam, uh, Sorry, please. Ivy. You may be able to stomach the colossal crane arrogance, but I'm not going to roll over for any of them, including Ethan. I, I guess you don't see it, but he's, he's turning into his father. You couldn't be more wrong. Forget it. I've just seen the two of them in action, like two peas in a pod with their smug, condescending attitudes. Ethan used the same tone with me that Julian used with you when he went on the attack about your keeping secrets. I mean, what kind of monster did you marry? I told you. It is a marriage in name only, and I swear to you that Ethan is nothing like Julian. Oh, I'm sorry, Ivy, but that's not gonna wash. All right, you're obviously blinded by maternal love. This is a definite case of like father, like son. Like Julian, and if you knew him better, you would see that. Don't even waste your breath, Ivy. The less I have to do with that son of yours, the happier I'll be. Uh, one more thing. What were you afraid Julian was going to find in that attaché case? What? I mean, the way he went at you today almost made me sick, but I got a distinct feeling that you're hiding something from him. <laughs> you saw what was in there? No, I think Pilar covered for you. I mean, you were terrified that Julian was going to see something else in there. What was it? I don't know what you're talking uh, don't about. Don't give me that, Ivy. You were scared to death when he opened up that case. I know you well enough to know when you're that upset. Yes, you do. You know me better than anyone in the world. That's one of the reasons I fell in love with you. Don't you even go there. I'm talking about right now, today. You are keeping something from Julian. And don't say it's nothing. Okay, you're right. Pilar saved my life today by switching my personal papers with her own. I don't get it. If Julian ever saw those papers, if he even knew who they were about, it would destroy my life. And the life of everyone I love. Lives would be destroyed if Julian saw your private papers? You must be exaggerating. No, Sam, I am not exaggerating. You have no idea what would happen if Julian found out what I was hiding. My life, as I know it, would be over. Well, how can you even call it a life with only a housekeeper to confide in? I mean, having to lock away your earth-shattering secrets from the man you live with so he doesn't use them against you? I don't care what kind of marriage you have. It's not right. Well, it can't be helped. Oh, yes, it can. Nobody should have to live with all that pressure and tension hanging over them. I mean, if you're that afraid of Julian's reaction, I mean, why do you even stay with him? Are you offering me an alternative? No, Ivy. Nothing has changed. What we once had is long over. I love my wife. I, I, I just think it would be better to live alone than with someone you fear. You, you can't be happy. <laughs> I have cried myself to sleep every night for years. Well, then, why do you stay with him? Is, is it the money? Is it the crane name? Or all those things more important to you than feeling good about yourself? Look, I know it. I know exactly why you stay with him. It's because of Ethan, isn't it? Ethan is why you stayed with Julian. That's it, isn't it? You stay married to Julian for Ethan's sake. I don't know what you mean. I'm sure it has to do with the other children, too. But I'd imagine, as Ethan being your oldest, he'd be the most affected if you and Julian divorced. Yes. I've heard you talk about the future you want for Ethan. If he does take over the Crane family empire one day, it wouldn't do to rock the boat, would it, Ivy? 
I mean, appearances must be kept at all costs. Right, Ivy? You don't understand anything. Oh, yes, I do. But I wouldn't worry. Ethan strikes me as the sort of guy that wouldn't let anything get in the way of his ambition. Just like his father and his grandfather before. No, he is nothing like that. You, you don't see it. But I see it as he is a crane through and through, and there's nothing you can do about it. He's not as smart as he might be, though, or else he wouldn't have pushed me. I don't think he meant to push well, that you. That was his only mistake, underestimating me. Because if he pushes me again, I'm going to push back hard. Sam, I know you hate Julian, but don't take it out on Ethan. What, what's the deal with Ethan that you always rushing to his defense? I think that Ethan is quite capable of taking care of himself without his mother's help. Yes, he is. I just hate to see the two of you fighting. But why? Why do you get so upset when he and I have a fight? What makes Ethan so special to you that sets him so far apart from the rest of your children? I don't know where you get that idea. I love my other children. No, no, but you don't talk about them the way you talk about Ethan. I swear your eyes light up every time you say his name. Well, he's my firstborn. No, I think it's more than that. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe Ethan is my favorite, but if he is, it is because he is an exemplary human being. He's good and he's kind and he's decent. <laughs> Are we talking about the same Ethan here? The one I know doesn't fit that description at all. I mean, I admit, I was fooled the first couple of times I met him, and now I know better. You don't know anything about him. Oh, yes, I do. I've seen him in action. He's a chip off the old block. How can you love Ethan so much when he's just like his father? The man you admit that you loathe and despise. You know, it's interesting. I have to admit, when you first told me that Ethan was my son, there was a small part of me that kind of hoped he was. But now I'm, I am so relieved that it's not true. I am so happy that we're not related. You shouldn't be so hard on him. Hard on him? I haven't even started. I'm giving you a heads up, Ivy. If your son comes at me the way he threatened to, I'm not gonna back down. And I will destroy him in the process.